Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on this makeup look right here. This is a one branded makeup tutorial using Too Faced because I just got this in the mail. First of all, isn't this the most beautiful PR package you have ever seen in your life? <laughs> it's like a giant book. And then you open it up, if I can, with one hand. No, I can't. <laughs> and then you open it up. Oh, it's like a pop-up book. It's so cool! It's so beautiful as well. And inside we have the new Too Faced highlighters and this palette. This has got to be my new favourite palette ever. Just look at it guys. Just look. Oh, it's so beautiful. So if you guys want to see how to get this look as well as what I think of all the Too Faced products I used, just keep watching. So I've already primed my eyes with my Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I know, it's not Too Faced. I don't have an eye primer by Too Faced that also covers the discoloration on my eyelids. So that aside, let's get into the eyeshadow. This is the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. Is this not the most beautiful palette you have ever seen in your entire life? Oh my god, it is so beautiful. I haven't actually used this yet, but if the colours are as pigmented as the other Too Faced palettes, this is going to be my new favourite palette. In all seriousness, you cannot make this limited edition Too Faced. Like, this has to be a permanent piece. Just look at it. So I'm going to start off with the shade Nudie, and I'm just going to take that on a Sigma E40 brush. So I'm just going to blend Nudie into my crease as my transition shade. I need to resist the urge to put as many eyeshadows as I can on my eyes. <laughs> So I'm going to take the shade Makeup and Chill just on a Sigma E25 brush and I'm going to blend this into my crease and out of V to darken, to darken things up a bit. Oh my god, these colours are so pigmented. When I sat down today to film, I was like, okay, I'm going to do like a light spring look. Is this looking light to you? <laughs> Next up, I'm going to take Hot and Bothered on a flat shader brush and I'm going to pack this onto the outer third of my eyelid. Oh, it's so pretty. I did bring that in way too close, but don't worry about it because I'm going to be half cutting my crease soon. So I'm just going to take a bit of Hot and Bothered on uh, that blending brush. I'm going to blend this into my outer V a little bit. Should have probably used a clean blending brush. This colour is really pretty, but it does have a lot of fallout. Now I'm just going to take a MAC 231 brush and cut the first half of my crease with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So I'm just going to start in the inner corner and then blend it out. Now I'm going to take the shade Honeymoon and I'm just taking this on a flat shader brush. I'm going to apply this to the center area of my lid. This color reminds me of Expensive Pink by MAC. So I'm just packing it on this area here and just blending it in too hot and bothered where they meet. Now I'm going to switch to a Sigma inner corner shader brush and I'm going to take Satin Sheets. Ooh, this color up here. And I'm going to apply this to that first quarter of my eyelid. There is a lot of fallout with these shimmer shades. Now I'm just going to take a blending brush and blend out any harsh lines. We want everything to look nice and smooth and blended, except for that cut. Leave that cut. Now that everything is nice and blended, I'm going to take the Too Faced sketch marker in the shade Charcoal Black and I'm just going to line my top lash line. Give it a shake first. I do like the sketch markers, but honestly, they're no Maybelline Master Precise Liner. It's a little bit wonky, but I'm pretty sure we can save it with false lashes. Now onto mascara, I'm gonna take the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. What else? And I'm just going to apply this to my top eyelashes. This is a really nice mascara. Then for lashes today, I'm going to use the House of Lashes in Tigress. Does Too Faced make false eyelashes? I don't think so. 
If they do, I don't own any. Now I'm just going to take some micellar water and clean up this fallout. So moving on to our base, I'm going to start off with primer. I'm going to use the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenish Face Primer. Now I do have oily skin and I have tried this once before and it really did not work with my oily skin. But it's the only Too Faced primer I have so I'm going to give it another chance. So I'm just going to take a bit on my finger. Oop, there's like a chunky bit because I haven't used this in a while. I'm just going to work this into my skin. This feels a lot less greasy than last time. I think last time I just applied way too much of it. And I am going to give this a minute to soak into my skin as well, so hopefully we won't have any oily issues. In which time I will go wet my beauty blender because I forgot to do that. Oh man, I don't think I was recording for any of that. If by chance I wasn't recording, uh, I've just gone in with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. You guys know this is one of my favorite foundations. I did try applying a new fake tan today and I'm pretty sure it didn't do anything. <laughs> I've had it for a while though so I'm pretty sure it's gone off. It was also bright green. I'm not sure it's supposed to be that color. But I'm normally the shade warm beige when I have fake tan on. But this is a little dark for me so I'm just going to blend this down my neck. Now I do want a little bit more coverage because my scarring is particularly red at the moment. Uh, so I really want to cover that. So gonna take, can't decide which color to use, I'm gonna take the Born This Way uh, concealer. Let's try medium tan. I'm just gonna cover the spots. This is how you tell if you've like missed a spot on your neck. Just blend that out. Just gonna give these a minute to dry and then blend them out too. I've got like this spot right here. But whenever I like tap on it, my lip twitches. <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on. Next, I'm gonna take the Born This Way foundation, foundation concealer in, I'm pretty sure this is light medium. My little sticker came off, but I'm pretty sure that's what the color is. And I'm just gonna use this to highlight my face. So I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes. And then down the center of my face too, so on my forehead. My cupid's bow, missed my cupid's bow a little bit, got it on my lip, oh well. And on my chin, and then we're just going to blend that out. Then to set my face, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pressed Powder. A lot of peas. So I'm going to start off by taking this on a Real Techniques setting brush, and I'm going to pat this onto where we apply the concealer, trying not to move my face to cause any creasing. Just pile in this on, then I'm gonna brush it off when I set the rest of my face. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm simply switching to a larger powder brush and going to apply the same powder onto my face. Next up is bronzer, and for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer in Sweet Tea. This is one of my favorite bronzers. I love this. So I'm just going to take this on a Sigma F40 brush, swirl it around, and then apply this to the perimeter of my face. This just adds such a nice shimmery glow. Then to contour, I'm going to take the Too Faced, do I really need to keep saying Too Faced? <laughs> The Milk Chocolate Sole Light Medium Matte Bronzer. This is another favorite bronzer of mine. I've hit pan. So I'm just taking this on a Sigma F05 brush and I'm going to use this to contour. So I'm just applying this to the hollows of my cheeks. This stuff smells so good. It smells like chocolate. And then under my jaw and just the top of my forehead. And I'm also going to apply this down the sides of my nose to contour my nose a little. Now onto blush, this is yet another one of my favorite products. This is Too Faced's uh, Sweetheart Blush in Sparkling Bellini. So I'm just going to take this on that Sigma F40 brush, swirl it around again, then apply this to my cheeks. Then for highlighter, I got the new Too Faced highlighters. I need to stop pulling this face. <laughs> 
So I got the shades Blinded by the Light. I think I'm going to use this one. Then I also got You Light Up My Life. Baby, you light up my life, life, your body, yes. And Ray of Light. I cannot wait to try these. So I'm going to go in with Blinded by the Light, which is a really light sort of champagne color. And I'm just going to take this on a Sigma FO3 brush. My nose is itchy. So I'm going to use this to highlight my face. It's a moment of truth. I like that. That's a very nice highlight. I feel bad for ruining the little Too Faced symbol. Oh girl. So I'm going to apply this to the tops of my cheekbones and then down the center of my face. And resist the urge to cover my face in this. So before we finish off our eyes, I'm just going to quickly fill in my eyebrows off camera because I don't actually own any Too Faced brow products. Yeah. I need to like stop slouching. My mirror is so low, I'm always like, I need to stop that. Eyebrows are on. Let's finish off our eyes. I'm gonna take Nudie that we used as our transition color. And I'm just taking this on a pencil brush and I'm gonna smudge this along my lower lash line. Just till I get to my tear duct. Next, I'm gonna take Makeup and Chill on a Sigma E21 brush. And I'm just going to smudge this into that very outer corner of my eye, making sure to connect it to the top eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take that inner corner shader brush from before and just wipe off the eyeshadow on it onto my arm. And I'm going to go in with Poodle and just apply this to the very inner corner of my eye. Just going to brush off that fallout. Next up, I'm going to line my tight line, and to do that, I'm going to use the Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in Black, which is teeny tiny, and I need to sharpen it. And to finish our eyes, we're just going to go in with some mascara onto our bottom eyelashes. Okay, this is the last product I'm going to use that isn't Too Faced. I don't actually own any of their lip liners. I have heard amazing things about them though. But because I don't own any, I'm going to use the The Balm Pickup Liners in the shade Fine Apple. <laughs> so I'm just going to line and fill in my lips with this. I feel like this is completely the wrong color for the lip oil I want to use, but it's the closest thing I have. I'm going to try and find something else. Surely after something else. Okay, I'm going to try a Nude Whisperer by Maybelline instead. Honestly, that lip liner was really drying. Like, can you see all that? So we'll see how this goes. So I wanted to finish off the lips with the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Peach Fuzz. Oh, this smells so good. This looks too light for my complexion. It makes me look a bit sick. So I'm going to find something else. Hold on. I'm going to try Pure Peach instead. I like this one better. And this is the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know if you guys want more of these one brand makeup tutorials and what brand I should do next. Uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't yet. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys! My top keeps falling down. Bye!